And now taking a look at the three other major candidates who are lagging behind the two frontrunners. They used their weekend to connect with people from various walks of life, from senior leaders in the political realm to regular citizens out for a weekend hike. Kim Jong-soo reports. To give themselves more time to prepare for Sunday night's TV debate, the candidates kept their campaign schedules to a bare minimum, with most of them closing up before noon. As for Hong Junpil of the Liberty Korea Party, the former prosecutor met with a small group of senior leaders from the country's business and political sectors and promised that their concerns about Korea's future would not go unnoticed. He also told the seven-member group, which included former ministers and Supreme Court justices, that he's the man best suited to reinvigorate Korea's conservative bloc, which is struggling to regain its footing after the impeachment of former President Park Geun-hye. Also a conservative. Yoo Seung Min, presidential nominee of the Splinter Pardon Party, paid a visit to Im Jin Gak's Pyeongwa Nuri Park in Paju, Gyeonggi-do Province, nearby the inter Korean border, in a show of strong commitment to national security and defense. Shim Sang Jung of the Progressive Justice Party made a surprise appearance at a hiking trail in Pukhansan Mountain in northern Seoul. Speaking to weekend hikers, Shem, dressed in her trademark yellow, said the country's environmental regulations need a complete overhaul. After years of flawed environmental regulations, nature is hitting back at us. We need a strong candidate who can solve the ongoing problem of fine dust in the air and the looming dangers of nuclear power plants. Shem also shared her thoughts regarding the nation's political environment. There is a lot of derogatory name-calling and scapegoating in this election. I hope the public chooses a candidate based on his or her ability to bring about real change. Kim Jong-soo, Arirang News.